Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video, we're going to talk about a 6 watt solar panel from Flex Solar. So I want to say thank you right off the bat to Flex Solar for sending this panel out for review. Some of you might be wondering why I'm doing this video in my truck. I'm out at my land right now and it's kind of windy out. So I decided that it wasn't going to work being out with all this wind noise. So my apologies for being in the vehicle doing this video. But let me go ahead and pull this out and we'll see what comes in this package. So there's nothing left in the mailer there. I'm gonna read some of this information to you. Six watt mini solar panel, 0.57 inches by 0.89 inches. Half of a pound, 230 grams. Peak power, six watts. Maximum voltage, five volt. USB port, 2.0. And that's pretty much all that says right there. That's just some specs on this solar panel. So you can see it's bigger than the little dimensions that they gave. This is actually 10.6 inches by 6.8 inches and it's 0 0.1 inches thick. It weighs 230 grams as we talked about earlier. On the back you've got the little controller there and you have a single USB-A port right there. You've got four little tie-out points, which is very, really cool. And this thing's pretty tough. Again, this thing puts out five volts at 0.9 of an amp, so almost one amp of charging. This is a monocrystalline solar panel, so it has 24% high conversion efficiency. It's a good panel. I'm also noticing that there are two little carabiners included. So if you wanted to hang this on your backpack, this would be really good for a backpacking trip as long as you're going to be in sunlight because it's light it's not going to weigh a lot so you would need some little paracord loops or something like that and then put the carabiners on the carabiners are just a tiny bit too large for the eyelets here so they don't really fit but these are nice little carabiners they're made out of metal not bad i just wish that they would have fit this is made out of pet film so it's waterproof to some extent so in the event that you get a little bit of rain or something like that don't worry about it this is also good for severe weather conditions weather cold hot stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and take a look and test this out again this is flex solar nice looking panel it's got kind of a rubbery feel to it it feels pretty solid so I'm gonna just set it right here. I wish I could like bring this down or something. There, we're gonna do that. We're gonna set it there. I've got a few cords here. There it is. Doo doo. So now my phone is gonna be charging. 28 minutes until full. My phone is at 85% right now. The sun is going in and out behind these clouds, but right now I've got good sun coverage but it's charging my phone it just keeps adjusting based on the sun 31 minutes until full that's not bad now let's try another test we're going to try an olight we're going to try to charge flashlight so we've got this blue one we'll plug this little blue one in right there and now you can see my little charger has that little green indicator hopefully you're seeing it see it's green okay got some pretty good sunlight let's plug that in and hopefully you can see that i've got a red charging indicator it's a little bit hard to see from that camera's angle but i have it down here in my lap and it's definitely turning red so the charger is definitely charging my olight so that's pretty impressive. This is a big 21700 battery. 
and for this little six watt panel at under one amp now granted it does take direct sunlight to do it but it still is putting voltage into my flashlight which is absolutely fantastic here's the charger and the flashlight sitting in my lap as you can see we have a red indicator showing that we're charging okay what about charging a GoPro so I got the side door off there I'm just gonna plug this in we'll look at the back and we're gonna wait to see if we can see a red indicator right there we are now charging our GoPro. Now this panel would be ideal if you had like a power bank, you know, a battery bank and you wanted to charge that during the day and then use that power bank at night. This panel would be good for something like that because it, it gets, especially on a day like today when the clouds are coming in and out. So, but it's still charging my GoPro and technically the sun is kind of behind a cloud right now. So that's impressive that I'm still seeing charging even though it's behind the clouds. So I'm impressed with that. That's the beauty of a monocrystalline panel. Even in overcast situations, sometimes they still work. Now I will say that this panel loves it with direct sunlight. That's where you get your best performance out of this panel. As far as my testing right now, it's doing pretty good. I mean, it's doing everything that I want it to do. It's going to do it very slowly, so you have to be patient with a panel like this. This isn't a lot of wattage. This is only 6 watts, and it's less than 1 amp. The point of this whole panel is something extremely lightweight. You can put it on the back of a backpack, go on your hike, and be charging as you're going down you know hiking and then when you get there maybe you're a little bit more topped off than you were when you began with so I like the panel I like the way it's built I think the quality of it is good I want to say thank you to flex solar for sending this little six watt panel out for review if you guys are interested in this panel I'll put a link in the description box down below and please feel free to leave comments on this video like this video share this video and until next time thank you for watching I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. This GoPro is now 100% full. That is that is pretty good. It stopped charging and I was like, what's going on? It's because it's full. <laughs> the GoPro is full. I'm impressed. For six watts, it did a pretty good job.